If you want to turn your photos into a painting with the help of generative fill in Photoshop, you can do it in just a couple of steps. So once you've imported your photo into Photoshop, we need to go to the channels panel. If you don't see this panel directly beside your layers, you can go up to window and down here to channels to reveal it. Now, what we want to do is create a new channel by clicking the new channel icon. And with that channel selected, we want to edit the contrast of it. To do that with the help of curves, we can press command or control M while that channel is selected. And this will access the curves dialog box. Now, the goal here is to turn this channel into a light gray color. The reason being is that when we have a light gray color, it means that we'll be able to create a partial selection of the entire canvas. That selection will then be used with generative fill to convert our photo photo and all the details within it into a specific style of painting. So for this image, I'm going to bring up the black point to something around the 25% mark. If you think of these horizontal lines as 25, 50, 75, and 100%. If you follow these steps in this lesson and your final result looks way too different from your original photo than you would like, just make sure to use a darker shade with the black point here. As a default, I would just recommend leaving it around the 25% area, which is that first horizontal grid line. With that good to go, your channel should look gray and I'll click OK. Now, since this is not fully black, we can create a selection of it by holding Command or Control and clicking on the channel thumbnail. A warning will come up saying that the pixels are no more than 50% selected, but that's okay. We can just click OK. And for the purpose of this lesson, it does not matter. So although we don't actually see any selection, I'll click back on the RGB channel and then go back to my layers. We still don't have a selection in view, but because we have generative fill available in the contextual taskbar, that means that Photoshop has an active selection somewhere in the photo that we can use generative fill on. But because we have a very low opacity selection, that is why we don't see our marching ants. But anyways, with everything good to go, I'll click on generative fill, and then I'm going to type in the style that I want to create. For this image, I'll go oil painting, and then click on generate. It may take a second to load, but once it's complete, you can click between the different variations that you get. And if you're not happy with any of them, you can click on generate again to create three more variations for your image with the same prompt as before. Looking through all of the variations that I have, I think this one looks the best for me, but looking at the before and after, with the help of a single AI prompt and a basic selection, we could convert our photo super easily. But this same process also applies for other types of artistic editing effects as well. So I would encourage you to try a bunch of different prompts with this process to see what other effects you can create. Now, if you think that you might forget any of the little steps related to channels I created a free lesson cheat sheet for everything that we covered in this lesson for free in the description below. It breaks down everything in one bite-sized PDF so you can follow this process in the future super easily. And with that, I'll see you back here next time.